Well, students at Governor Stirling Senior High School in Guildford have staged a protest after this painting was banned from being displayed at the school's art exhibition, despite the theme being social issues. At the time, the principal felt the painting was too controversial to be on display, but he's since apologised to the artist and said the decision was made in haste. But it's got students riled up. They've been wearing T-shirts with the artwork on them and it's gaining traction online with nearly 400 Facebook followers on a dedicated page. We were upset and angry because it shouldn't have been pulled down. There was no reason. It's not really a controversial issue anymore. And joining me now is education specialist Di Wilcox. Good morning, Di. Good morning, Tracy. Well, I personally think it's a bit of an overreaction from the principal, but how does this highlight the larger issue about being comfortable to talk about social issues? I think what we've got to be aware of is young people today have got um, much more exposure to these social issues. So, for example, particularly with this um, issue that the, the children um, or students are talking about, we've got one of the Simpsons characters coming out of the closet. Um, we've got... Uh, gay right marriage being spoken about with our politicians. There's a lot more exposure and we need to be aware of this and talk to our children openly and honestly so that they feel that they can speak about these things and have their opinions valued. Obviously it's very important to make sure that young people are comfortable about talking about these issues but I guess, uh, you know, we spoke off camera before, what these kids are doing, what these teenagers are doing, it's really important, isn't it? Look, I've, I applaud these students for what they're doing. They've shown respect for someone else's difference of opinion. Um, they've stood by each other by showing understanding and empathy. And I really love the way that instead of getting angry about it, they've actually been very proactive. And the steps that they've taken, I applaud them because mm. they've said, look, this isn't OK with us. Um, this is the stand that we're taking. But they've done it in a way that I think is quite mature. Yeah, very mature indeed. Um, what tips do you have for parents and teachers about how what role they can play? Well, I think it's really important that even with the issues that we sometimes may feel very uncomfortable with, that we turn off technology, we turn off any excuse to have to go and do some work, and we take time to talk to our, our kids about some of these issues. Show them that their opinions are valued, show them that you're willing to talk about all of these things, and remember that healthy debate is a good thing, it's a life skill, and it um, teaches our children to have a healthy respect for others' opinions. Di Wilcox, thank you very much for your insights this morning. Thank you, Tracy.